While one NFL great retires, two budding NFL stars need to learn to grow up. Merry Christmas, NFL fans. We're not just 49ers over here, so let's take a look at some other stories going on around the NFL. Let's start with a couple of players who were very much not in the Christmas spirit. Odell Beckham Jr. of the New York Giants did not exactly have a banner day on Sunday, and he's been suspended one game because of it, though he is appealing that suspension. In Sunday's game against the Giants and the Carolina Panthers, Beckham Jr. had multiple personal foul penalties, one of which was so egregious, he's lucky it was only one game. At the end of a play that neither him nor his nemesis for the day, cornerback Josh Norman, were involved in, he came rushing across the field and hit Norman helmet to helmet. He could have really injured him. That was bad. Now, what led to all this craziness on the field? Apparently, according to multiple reports, Norman and other Panthers players were trying to get into Beckham's head by yelling anti-gay slurs, by talking about his personal life. That's not good either. And if those accusations are true, the NFL has to really take a look at those. It's very dangerous to get into a player's head by saying things that are bigoted and inappropriate. But it's also bad to retaliate by making a violent game that much more violent. Grow up, gentlemen. This is the NFL. Try to be a role model for your fans and for other players. Transitioning to some lighter news, because it is Christmas and this is football, the NFL playoffs are upon us, and quite a few teams clinch first this week. Let's take a closer look at the NFC playoff picture. The Panthers, Cardinals, Seahawks, and Packers have all clinched playoff first. The Packers would like to get themselves a first round bye, but they are going to have to go through the aforementioned Arizona Cardinals first. With Cardinals safety Tieran Matthew out for the season with a torn ACL, which is a huge loss for Arizona, Green Bay has a better shot at the road win. We'll see, but either way, this is going to be a really good game. Meanwhile, the 7-7 Washington Redskins are looking to get into the playoffs by beating the Philadelphia Eagles this weekend. It is a huge game for Kirk Cousins and friends, but nothing like a little big rivalry game to get you pumped up on the road. If the Minnesota Vikings beat the Giants this weekend, they're in the playoffs. If they don't, they're going to need help from Atlanta and or Seattle, the former of which is fighting to keep its playoff hopes alive. That's a lot of moving parts. Good luck, everybody. And last but not least, I want to congratulate my fellow Michigan Wolverine, Charles Woodson, on an incredible career. He announced that he will be retiring this season after 18 amazing years in the NFL. 18 years. Whew. The Raider and former Packer has been exemplary both on and off the field. Go Blue and good luck, Charles. Even though the 49ers won't be in the playoffs, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be covering the playoffs all the way through the Super Bowl. Go 